But what we're going to do here is uh, learn how to create a tiled column gallery, which is the kind of gallery that we're going to be using on the Art Neco website. So what I do is I'm on the page that I'm going to be uh, putting the gallery on. You could be on your blog post that you're going to be putting the gallery on. And um, you go into edit the page. And I'm actually going to put a uh, heading in here for it. And I think I'll give it an H2 heading. And I'll say how to create a tiled column gallery. And um, please, I'll give a little description. It becomes a paragraph as, uh, as soon as I hit return. Please review this um, recording, this video, uh, before creating a gallery on Art Neco Galleries. Okay? So, I've put in my title to it, a brief description. Now it's time to add media. So I click Add Media. And I am going to actually create a gallery. So I then I click Create Gallery. So, now I have the pictures here. If I want to do a gallery just of uh, the Art Neco designers, I could just go like this and click everybody's picture and create the gallery doing that. I'm not going to do that kind. I'm actually going to do uh, show you how to search and find images within the website. So let's say we wanted to pick specific pictures out, not just ones that were recently uploaded. So filter by media category. And then you have all these plate numbers here. And as you scroll down, uh, you'll even have the designer's names there. Ah designers names on plate numbers so because as you add pictures to your website to the um, website you'll have you'll put them in your categories but let's just start with this first plate here the first one and um, these are all the pictures for plate A101 and we'll go like this and this and this I clicked them all and I'm going to say create new gallery now, I don't necessarily like the order of these pictures, so I'm going to reorder them a little bit just because um, I want to do that. I'm going to leave these little how-tos at the end, and I think I'm going to put this one down at the very end. Actually, I'm going to move this one up to do that. And move this one up to do that. And move this one up here. So now I have these with this. This is like showing you the pieces to make this design. So that's, this is how I want it organized. I will leave the attachment page set as it is. And we want it, all the pictures linked to an attachment page. I'm going to leave it at three columns. I'm going to change two settings here. Thumbnail will go to full size. And the reason we're going to put these in full size is so when people click on the image, they will see the full size image. And also on type, it's again a tiled column. We're not going to use tiled mosaics or any of these other ones on this website. Um, Annette and Candace decided to pick tiled column galleries. I'm going to insert the gallery. And as you can see now, we have the pictures inserted. And now I can click Update. And now we can view the page and see how it looks. And there it is, how to create a tiled column gallery along with the gallery.